Yeah, we're here. We're in Manitou Golf Course, and we're coming to you live. <laughs> we have Rick, we have a Jake, a John, and a Pete. And a John. And, a, and a, another John hiding. Oh, they can expect, uh, you know, a beautiful golf course, uh, nine holes. Uh, it's a little bit challenging of a course. And then after they're done, we have a beautiful clubhouse that they can enjoy some really deep, like really great food and drinks and comfort of a nice air conditioned building for the hot days. Hole number one, we just finished and it was amazing. We got our money's worth. We don't have to go yeah. anymore. Yeah, we're, good. we're good. We have enough points for the first half. <laughs> Uh, one of the many things that, that are unique to Manitou are the fire hydrants and uh, that was done very purposely. Uh, it was a way of attracting tourists to our community and to get them exploring the whole community, not just sitting at the pool or at the opera house. So somebody took the initiative of having them all painted differently. So when you come to Manitou, take a look at the fire hydrants and enjoy the tour. Uh, it's been a really good year. I moved here with my uh my now fiance and our now four month old son. And it's been good, really good. Uh, well, I got a Rangers jersey, I got Navs jersey, I got an old Ducks jersey, I got a Florida jersey, I got a Canada jersey. My Leafs jersey is currently at my parents' house right now, getting a little cleaned up because it's a little dirty. And yeah, big Leafs fan, I got a, got a Leafs, uh, uh, what's it called, banner there with all the Stanley Cups on and stuff. Been a long time, but you know, maybe this year. Oh, I have phenomenal neighbors, yeah. Sometimes, you know, maybe they get a little loud sometimes, but it's all good. They're all great, great people around here. Love the people around here, very friendly. My name's Al Thorleafson. I'm just one of the people who works with the Manitou Opera House. The beginning of the story is that when Wes and Nellie McClung lived here in Manitou, one of the things that Nellie and Wes and a number of the other people of that generation were really interested in is in making sure that the community developed artistically, culturally, as well as economically. But the first opera house happened to burn down in a fire in 1929. They rebuilt it and paid for it in one year. This is the Nellie McClung Heritage Site in Manitou. And you'll see that in our heritage site we have three buildings. The first one, the oldest one in the middle, is the building that Nellie McClung lived in when she taught just outside of Manitou. After that, they moved to the house behind me the big white house and this house is where they lived throughout the rest of their marriage in Manitou. By the time they left Manitou they had four children there and Nellie was one of the outstanding authors in Canada. Nellie was very concerned about the lives of women and children and about anyone else who wasn't able to sort of look after themselves or be an advocate for themselves. So Nellie really with another group of women became an advocate. They became advocates for those people that couldn't demand things for themselves. And I'm thinking about things like the vote for women. And that was one of Nellie's big achievements, I would say. Uh, we're at uh, the Binnie Nature Reserve. So we're doing some uh, critter dipping right now where we're taking these uh, nice little Tupperware things here and we're dipping them in the water and seeing what we can find. Oh, Evelyn, uh -huh. what have we found? We've got lots of things swimming around here. Uh, and these are not nymphs. These are much smaller than nymphs. And so I think we need our magnifying glass to take a look. Wow. Now that's exciting. Right now we're at uh, Binnie's Nature Reserve. It's called Binnie because of Binnie Siding, which is just to the south of us. And it's uh, an abandoned rail line. So Binnie is a nature preserve. Uh, started by one of the mayors in Manitou several years ago and it is used as an education site and as a picnic area by school children and families alike. Hi, I'm Alan Brown. We're at Highwire Zipline Adventures in the Pemina Valley. We have a nine hole mini golf, we have sand volleyball, we're working on a horseshoe pitch, we do have a couple of sites for camping and a big field for picnics and we've been building numerous hiking trails and they're covering quite a bit of the property now. We have a Manitoba map, Canada map, US map and a world map and we have pins just about everywhere. 